today we are getting ready to do my hair she's getting ready to wash and condition my hair and today we will be using our normal shampoo which somebody done ooze it all out uh, we're gonna be using our regular Tresemme shampoo uh, for my hair uh, somebody had said for us to stop washing the hair so much with shampoo but I hadn't washed my hair in two weeks so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna start doing is probably wash it don't have me too too close uh, I'm gonna start uh, doing my wash with my Tresemme conditioner but I'm not gonna do it today because it's been two weeks and I, I'm a firm believer in 4C hair needs to be washed with soap uh, at least every two weeks and if you're gonna if you're gonna um, if you want to wash more like through the week maybe sometimes one or two times through the week I would say do a co-wash with your conditioner and that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be we, well we're gonna be doing the, the wash and the conditioner and I don't think we got a bag either but anyway uh, so uh, Marcus can give us a bag so this is what we're gonna be doing and she's gonna be the one that's gonna be doing a wash yeah, I'm going to be washing her no, hair. No, you got to talk louder than that. I'm going to be washing her hair. And I'm going to be conditioning it. Putting conditioner in it. Not that bad. The bag doing my hair. And after I get the conditioner out of her hair, I am going to twist up her hair. Uh, she may just comb it out. I may do twisting. Okay, now it's going to take a minute for this water. It, get, it takes a minute for it to get warm. So my hair likes warm water. So I, it, 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 it softens it and it's really, right now, it's really frizzy. Um, I, don't, I don't mind my hair being frizzy, but when I don't want it frizzy, I don't want it frizzy either. So. Anyway, we also gonna be using a little bag for the conditioner. So, uh, I guess we can go ahead and, I don't really want that cold water on my own yet, okay? So, we waiting to warm up. So, what did you want, you want to tell me anything? Say anything? This is not the first time I have washed her hair. This actually six time I washed her hair. I'm gonna talk really loud. This is the sixth time I washed her hair. See what she needs to do, y'all, is, the same way she be hollering at these boys around here and try to holler at me. That's kind of what she needs to be doing in this video because she she's showing y'all a lot. But she can talk a lot louder than that. Okay. All right, y'all. So we are getting ready to wet your hair. Okay. You gonna we're gonna work from this side or work from this side? It don't matter. No, you already on this side. So no, we're... I'm gonna do it here. But I'm saying, are you gonna work from this side, or are you gonna work from this side? I'm gonna from this side. Okay. With all of your hair. Okay. I like you, you tell was, me. I thought you were gonna be doing this. Well, your hands in the way. Sure, I, mean, I, I don't like the linger. Y'all, my hair loves water, and it will, you know. When I was a little girl, like I said, I used to run from, run from water. And that cool. But I've learned that 4C hair or, or any African American hair loves water. You probably don't realize it yet, but it does. So all I'm doing is just saturating my hair really, really good to make sure that is good and wet. And then we'll move accordingly. You gotta talk up so they can hear. Okay. So Let's talk up so they can hear. Are you done? Are you done putting your hair? Uh yeah. Okay. So I'm about to put the talk conditioner up. on her hair. Talk up. Not the conditioner but the shampoo. I'm going to put it in my hand. And then I'm going to rub it in. Just put it in my hand. Just drop it in the hand. That's not what she was talking about. She was talking about like you scoring it in the hand. I know you did. Wait, man. 
And I'm not scared to use shampoo. When I put shampoo in my hair, I put it in my hair because it's I, I have a lot of hair. Wait a minute, let me get some more in. I have a lot of hair and it's gonna require me putting a lot in there. Same thing about conditioner. I'm gonna put some, I'm, when I put the conditioner in, You'll see I put it in in block because that's the only way it's going to break it down. Maybe a little bit inside. Okay. Let me make sure it all the way in there. My hair, oh, uh, I done broke a nail. This hair ain't no joke. down to some serious work she don't want to work and this takes work right here y'all you can't you know you got to really get in it in order to to wash this hair Just trying to make sure it doesn't stop and we because it will I don't know I don't I'm not sure about that camera that's not the same camera but the other camera it like I said it does not want to act right so I don't know what's going on since I did that update it's just not doing what it's supposed to do I feel like I ain't got enough suds on it but do I do it? no 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 put no more on it is it is it is it lined up pretty good yeah Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then what I do is, I, I thought I scrub my hair pretty good. I take my combs and go through, just kind of using my combs to, because I'm gonna have to wash my combs out. Thank 
You did all of them? No, I didn't do that one. So this is my way of getting started on my, washing my combs out. And these are the combs that I use every time I do my hair. That's how she twist it up. Twist it up, wash it, or whatever. Okay. I'm still gonna wash the combs out. Yeah, it's not getting longer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I think so. Don't touch the palette. Y'all, I use warm water because it do better with my hair. Let me go ahead and look at the Okay. I don't know if too hot now. I have to pour it a little bit in certain spots to make sure I got all the soap out of it. Okay, y'all. Now it's ready for the conditioner. Uh, what I what I do is I don't need to do like what you're doing. What I do is, and it's faster and easier for me, is just take the top off of it and get the squeezing. I mean, get the putting it in your hand. This condition is so good. Show them the condition again. This condition is, is really good for 4C hair. 4C hair is hair that it's very, very tight in curls, and it's and it's probably one of the hardest hair textures that, as far as trying to um, trying to break it down, it's probably the hardest one to do that. But it definitely can be done. And whenever you do hair especially natural hair and colored hair, make sure you pay attention to the ends of the hair because the ends of the hair is the oldest hair. And with it being the oldest hair, it's done been beat up by the weather and so forth and so forth. So you really want to pay attention to the ends of the hair as far as making sure that it has all of the uh, everything that it needs to keep it healthy. Now, right now, I am a trigger happy cutting. Uh, I cut hair like, like it's just, like crazy. I do. So you don't get you got, you got way enough on the back. Um, so I have to watch myself sometimes because I do. I will cut it. I will cut it off if it don't feel right. Don't put don't don't get me too close, CJ. You got me too close, that's come. That, I don't I'm not gonna like that. Cause I want my head just like up in the up in the camera. Oh it's not. Okay. Just as long as it's up in the camera, I'm good. I know. But anyway, um let me have it. Let's put it. But anyway, um I, I like I said I do. If I get me some 
If I get me some scissors in my hand, honey, I will have all of this hair cut off. So. <laughs> don't, don't, don't just grab my hair like that. Because you just grab it, you need to grab towards the hair, not the face. You take off half of my face. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You just need to pay attention. And then you're going to tell me, I'm sorry. And then when you be around these boys, you be around here having a fit over these boys. You need to talk where you can, where they can hear you. I'm doing all the talking. I'm just about ready to just finish this on up. Um, so, y'all, we're going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is put the rest of this condition on my hair. And we're going to be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all. I have got the condition on my hair. And y'all, it was tangled pretty bad, so I had to comb it out. So this is this is what it is. It's broke down, and that's that trace of make conditioner um, that broke this down. So now I'll put it up under this bag at least until I get through. Uh, cleaning my um, cleaning my um, combs out and y'all this is the hair that I lost which my hair has not really been combed probably for two weeks so that's not bad so that's that's how much I hair hair I had like I said which is not bad so, y'all, I had surgery. So, I've got a little limp right now, but it's all good. I got stuff slung everywhere. Hey, Mom, I can wash out the sink for you. Huh? I can wash out the sink for you. Do what? I'll wash out the sink for you. Okay. Are you are you filming? Yes. Uh, I wish I could do that. Well, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm, I'm not gonna wash the sink out right now because I gotta rinse this conditioner out. So I'm not gonna wash it out right now. But what I am gonna do is wash out my combs. Okay. And these are the combs that I use faithfully. That's I was trying this one this one and like I said this is a a comb, it says something about coconut. So it, it, it's supposed to have coconut in the comb. Now I don't know what it is, but it's a wide tooth and I need that. And this is a detangler, and I think I told y'all, tangle timer. And this is just a regular uh, comb that I use. That anybody can. Uh -huh. But I didn't bring my brush out there, um, please, because I did not bring that in here. Go get my brush for me, please. Bring it. Okay. It's gone. And all I do is put a little of my dome in there. Sometimes I put uh, Clorox in there, but I'm not in the mood for that. I'm just gonna do the the dome because it's not the combs are not that dirty. Have some hot water, and I usually get my brush and um I get my brush and then I let that be that helps me clean out my own. Um, I take my the, the small one and I just get all the extra hair out of the brush before I do anything. Actually, I, I, I usually get an already get this. Then I dump that down in there, clean that out, put it in with the rest of this hair and then I kind of jig it around in the water but like I said, then what you could do, you put a little bit of Clorox in there, and that would. Now, if I was, this is, I'm the only one use this comb, these combing brush. I don't nobody else touch touch this but me. And I am a firm, firm believer in uh, everybody have their own personal comb brush or whatever. You don't use my combing brush. You don't use my, you know, you don't use my stuff. So, therefore, I'm the only one using it. But if I had, if I was using it with somebody else in the house, 
then I would uh, definitely use the Clorox. But I used to still use the Clorox. But here lately, I've gotten a little bit slack. But that um, one thing that um, uh, dishwashing uh, detergent, that Dawn dishwashing detergent, it has antibacterial uh, in, inside of it. So that usually do the trick. Huh. I put some of that, it's some in the water. But I put some on my brush. That's a lot. And I get it lathered up pretty good. Ooh. I get it lathered up pretty good like that. And then I just go through here. And this is what I do with my comb and brush every time I wash my hair. Because you do not want to wash your hair and then come back and use a dirty comb or a dirty brush. That doesn't that doesn't make sense, does it? I hope it don't. So that's what I do. I just go through and do that. And so I'm probably also doing that. I'm also hipping with washing up my, my uh, brush as well. So I do the same thing with all my combs. Your last one of them, I do that too. And see, I'm brushing it down because sometimes you have stuff on the edge of your combing brush. I normally don't, but I've seen it there before. So you want to kind of brush it down because you're brushing it out. Make sure you see, show them what I'm talking about. I know. Um, okay. You know there's something up on your nose, right? Huh? There's something up on your nose. What's on? Uh, so. Uh, right there. Oh, show sure, you a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Now, that wasn't no big old booger. That was just some suds. what you do and that way you have you some clean brushes and then I go through here and I wash this bad boy right here I've been had this brush right here for so long and I got it from Avon Avon used to carry these brushes this right here is the best for 4c hair I haven't found a brush that that get down in my scalp like this thing right here does. Okay, after I do that, what I do is I let it sit in the water for a little while. And then when I get right before I get ready to take the conditioner out of my hair, then I would rinse it off, put it on a paper towel, and get it ready to go to you know twist my hair. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to come back in just a little bit. All right, y'all, I am back. And I have combed this hair out. And I am ready to put my product on this hair and get it twisted. Turn it down. Get it twisted and ready to rock and roll with it. So I will be using my regular grapeseed oil. I would be using um, Cantu with the shea butter in it. Now, I have argan oil in here. I have grapeseed oil in here. And I have aloe vera oil in here because I heard uh, aloe vera oil was good for keeping the marsh in. So I put a lot of that in here. So I don't know how this is going to turn out this time. And I also have my spray bottle and I have aloe vera oil in this as well. So we're gonna see how this turn, that turns out. And this is the hair that I had from this comb out this time. I don't usually lose a lot of hair once I put, put that conditioner on my hair. And I am in a different area this time, y'all. So I'm in the kitchen area. So we're gonna try to twist this hair real quick. And I probably won't be doing no more talking. I'll probably just go put it on fast forward and get the job done. And I, I use a lot of product. This right here is going to be 
uh, a lot of product, product I use on my hair. I don't play with it because it needs it in, a, in order for it to even do a twist out at all. It needs the product, so it'll get a little bit white. But see, my hair has, here lately, it's not even been having a shine like it normally. So I don't know, I don't know what kind of face. It must want me to cut it again, but I think it's that dye that I, that I let the lady put on my hair, the permanent dye. So I want that, to, I want that off my hair. I don't want no more permanent dye on my hair. I'm just gonna use that semi um, dye on my hair that I normally use. That's what I'm gonna um, start by using. After this grow out, and it's growing out because it's right here. And I can hit the grow on that too. I cut it real good too. Uh oh, I need that, please. Okay, y'all, let's get busy. All I'm gonna do is do a two strand, two strand, um, twist out. I got my product on the hair. Make it even and go to twisting. I do have grapeseed oil in the in this product right here. But I'm going to put a dab of the grapeseed oil directly on the ends of it. Because that's where it, it's the most brittle. It's on the ends. Okay. Shouldn't take me that long because I don't want it to take me that long. Oh, y'all, this is the side that I had messed up. Remember I told y'all about um, where I had put that, um, that hair and glued it in my hair and I messed around and... Um, Put a bald spot in my head well it's on this side right here but it's all good again comb it out and also put some oil on the because sometimes we forget about our edges put some oil on the edge i'm just dabbing my i got the grapeseed oil in the top of the of the conditioner and I'm just dabbing it on, that's all. But like I said, I have some in, in the product as it is. So I'm going to start this. And then I'm gonna come back and let you all see the finishing product of this. I just wanna start just a little bit of it. And then after I start a little bit of it and let y'all see where I am. And then I'm gonna stop the video and then I'm gonna come back later. And then when I come back later, I'm gonna be done. Oop, I like to hit the, I like to get the phone on the floor. And the a little oil around these edges up here. I'm on the end too. There we go, right there. So we almost got uh, half of, I mean, part of the front done. Here, this is where I did that little, that little, uh, when I messed up. Mm, excuse me. Okay, y'all. I got it started. And I'm going to come back off and on. And I thought I was in video. But I'm going to come back off and on and let you all see the progress. But that's where it is. Where we are right now. I shall return. 
Okay, y'all, I am almost done. I am at the end. I got um, a couple more rows to go, maybe one more row to go, and I would be completed. I would, would have completed this hair. Thank you, God. Because this, this one gave me a fit a little bit, y'all. So, I think I'm going to put one big one at the top right here. And then the other one's probably two. I think I just pulled some hair out of the other one. this one right here and uh, these right here I'm gonna have to make three because it's so much hair I'm gonna make three which won't take me long I'm so glad to be through though hmm. so basically I put grapeseed oil at the root of my hair and I brought it on down to the end and hopefully that'll keep because some ends be so dry so that's why I did that so hopefully my hair I hope I get a shine out of this hair this time because sometimes it shines and sometimes it don't and like I said, I do believe it's the permanent dye that's on the end of my hair. And you know, after this permanent dye grows out, I don't think I'm gonna, I, well I know, I'm not gonna get any more permanent dye. I'm gonna stick with the semi-permanent dye and be done with it because it like my hair like it better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I won't be doing another permanent uh, dye on my hair. Cause my hair has got to the place it just don't like a lot of stuff no more. So, and I don't like the way my hair feels. Cause I mean, I cut off all my hair. So when they get to feeling, like I said, when they get to feeling a certain way, I will cut this mess off. So, but I got two more plants to go after this right here, and I am gonna be done. I will be done. Yes, yes, yes. Two more. So let's see, today is Wednesday, I think. I make it take it down this weekend. I may not. I don't know. When I be done went through some trouble like this right here with this hair, honey, I don't be want to take it down. I just throw a wig on it. If I or either I put on a little little um, lipstick and and some earrings, cute little outfit, and go about my business. Go about my business. I'm down to this is my next to the last one, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Next to the last one, y'all. One more to go. And we gonna be done. Then I can go take my bath. And I can put my clean sheets back on my bed. I should sleep like an angel tonight. Now that I know how they sleep, I would say peaceful. And that really need to be two. That really need to be two. But I'm not gonna do it. I'll change it later though, probably. I'll change it later. 
like I said, what I'm doing, I'm putting the grapeseed oil at the root of my hair because so it can get on the scalp. I know a lot of times they used to say, don't put no oil on your scalp, but when your hair lets you know that that's what it needs, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Everybody trying to get out of what we need on our hair and say it don't, your hair won't grow and all this right here. My hair grow. And I always have put grease on the scab of my head. Now I stopped doing it because that's what, you know, they said that it clogs up your pores. I mean, clogs up your, your hair shafts and all that stuff. But it's amazing how my hair still grow. So I don't know if that to be true or not. Okay, y'all, I am done. Okay, this is the hair that I lost. Is it all together? I don't know if this was, I'm thinking this is all together. All together hair that I lost um, through the whole process of putting my hair in twist. All I need is a clip right here. Rena, go give me a clip, please. And then I and I'm gonna spray this hair with this um with this um get get the bigger one. Uh, I'm gonna spray this hair with this um aloe vera oil, aloe vera juice and water, and then I'm gonna be done, completely done. So y'all have rolled with me the whole time. I appreciate that. Y'all, this is 4C hair. 4C hair is, again, one of those hairs that you're going to have to put in some work. Bottom line, any 4C hair, you will have to put in work. So if you have, ha have hair anywhere like mine, then you in for a real treat. You don't see them. All I'm gonna do is put one little clip on here. Uh, -uh what a dark one, the black one. Oh, the black one. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put one clip on here to hold this down, and then I'm gonna spray it, and then we're gonna be done for the night. So I hope everybody's having a um, keeping it safe and um, just really taking life serious. And just really um, looking out for your family, looking out for you, you know, looking out for your family. Um, you know what? Don't forget about the elderly. Don't forget to, to watch out for them. You know, a lot of times they may not say a word. They may say they did so that or, or have everything and then they really don't have nothing in their home. So it's nothing wrong with sharing um, as a matter of fact, it's a blessing in uh, being a blessing to someone else. Y'all, I'm just going to put this clip on here because I wear it like this sometimes too. Put that clip on there. And it didn't want to hold it, but put that clip on there and we're done. I'm going to spray this hair. And like I said, this is uh, what's in here now is aloe vera juice. I used to use aloe vera juice back long time ago when my hair, uh, when I first became natural. Uh, and then I stopped using it. But I read, because my hair, like I said, it's just done changed. It's done, it'd be so dry. So I'm at a point that I'm trying to find something that, uh, that'll work on my hair. So I want to make sure every strand got, I got some of the aloe vera juice in my, um, in this uh, conditioner, but um, I got one on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, let's tie it right there too. I got some aloe vera juice in there, but I wanted some to kind of like drip down and just really, really saturate my hair really, really good. And see how it did. So that's what I'm doing. 
Huh? Is it coming down that much? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it is cold. It's going all down my my shirt. But we're gonna see how this this gonna do. Okay, y'all. Now all this needs to be done is just uh, I'm gonna pat it a little bit. And then I'm going to put my scarf on and let it do the rest. <laughs> but I wanted, I wanted it all on my head, though. And we're going to get the juice on, Sean. Go with the what? The juice. Okay. No. No. I already got it here. You want me to show them? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. You show them, uh, yeah, what I got in there. Put some in there. I want every, every, uh, I want all of it to have some of that juice on it. Okay, this is the stuff that I, I'm putting on my hair right now, but it's just water. The camera's right here, Mom. Hmm? The camera's right here. Right there. It's not right there, it's right here. Okay, well, I'm doing it right here. Okay, that is aloe vera juice is what I'm what I'm putting on there, but it, like I said, it has water in it. You want to take that back? Yes. Okay. As a matter of fact, we can take all this stuff back. Okay. okay. Um. You know where this goes? Okay. Oh, uh, wait a minute. We need to clean that all that stuff out. With that one, does it have anything in it? No. That, that white comb? No. Okay, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going I'm to let you all have your day back. And I, if you would, please like and subscribe to, our, to my channel, our channel. I think I'm going to, to my channel because um, I think they done dropped the ball on me. So I'm not going to try to get them to do something that they don't want to do. So I'm going to probably be doing this myself until I decide that I'm tired of doing it. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, um, this is it. This is it. And it is growing a little now. I, I done cut that, so it, that would have been way down my back if I had left it alone. But, oh, no. This child right here, honey, when she, uh, when it feels a little hard, it's over. And I've been trying. I've been trying my best not to, not to mess with it. So, um, wipe that off right there. Uh-oh, did it stop? Okay. Yes. But anyway, I think it's saying that I, my time is up anyway. But anyway, y'all, please like and subscribe. And thank you again for watching um, this long drawn up uh, video with me washing my hair, condition, washing and conditioning my hair, and doing a twist out on it. And I appreciate you all. God bless y'all. And keep it safe out there. Peace and love sent.